Hi Gemini, welcome to this reading. You might find this resonates more if Gemini is your sun or rising sign. So let's have a look and see the messages that Spirit would like would like you to know at this time. Okay, Eight of Ah, uh -huh, look, the Two of Cups is back. Eight of Swords reversed with the Two of Cups. So you or somebody that, that's on your mind, um, and you know, if it's not you, if, it, if it's this other person, you're definitely on someone's mind, but whoever's doing lots of overthinking and feeling that there's no um, perceivable way forward is going to stop overthinking actually. And then we have this coming together with the Two of Cups. So let's see what else we get. Okay, Nine of Wands reversed. Ooh, and the Fool. Wow, Gemini, this really looks like a new beginning to me. After a period of struggle, we have the Ace of Swords, clarity, potentially communication, truth coming in. We've got Aries, Aquarius, energy. Yeah, um, if you... Well, I, I wanted to say if you sense that your person is moving into a new beginning, but I'm not seeing signs, at least yet, that you are feeling this, but it looks like your person here... And I feel it's someone you do know, because with the Two of Cups, it kind of suggests to me that there might be a pre-established connection here, even if it's, you know, hasn't um, grounded in the material world, even if it's energetic, vibrational, it looks like they're having a new start that involves coming back towards you. And with the Nine of Wands, it tells me there could have been some struggle involved in this situation. So I don't think this person would be a surprise to you. I don't think it's someone you haven't even considered or anything like that. Yeah, look at this, death reversed. So you might even be wondering at this point, is this over? Are we ever going to talk again? It's been so long. We've got Scorpio energy here. And I almost feel like something here got pushed almost to the brink and now it's being pulled back. We have the sun in reverse on the back. So we've got Leo energy, but also what you can't quite see yet that's coming in is this rebirth, healing, new beginning. And I think it's gonna be much happier than what you've experienced before. Okay, yes, Page of Pentacles. So this could um, come about in the form of a message, uh, something that um, is tangible. What I mean by that is we could get a message through like a friend of a friend of a friend, or somebody could send us a letter or they could send us a message and we can see it, we can look at it. So I feel it's something direct from this person and it's something you can see with your own eyes or you can at least hear it directly from them. It's not secondhand or anything like that. I do think this person as well, you know, they admire you. If they have a way to watch you, to look at you, I think they're doing that a lot. They might have say like a favorite photo, for example, that they like to look at, or if you, um, you know, exchange messages in some sort of way, they might have kept those and they go over them as well. Wow, the Will of Fortune, Sagittarius. But yeah, moving into a much better cycle. We've got more fortune, more luck. It's definitely a happier cycle. It's smoother, it's easier. We've got 10, which is completion here. Yes, Five of Pentacles reversed. So there has been some distance here of whichever kind, a feeling of... of um, uh, What's the opposite of closeness? It's distance, isn't it? I don't want to say that again. But there's been um, space, let's say, between you both. Um, and that is being closed, that, that space. Um, so we have the two of, of swords on the back there reversed. So do you know what it feels like to me? And you can flip this if the roles are reversed. But it looks to me like this is someone who's been thinking a lot about you, thinking about you every day. And specifically thinking about how they miss you. They'd like to take some action, but they've got no idea what steps they can take. Every idea they come up with seems like it's not appropriate or it wouldn't work. Um, and it's like somehow they're having a breakthrough. See, look, exactly the tower. And it's reversed because it's yet to happen. It looks to me like this will happen within the next couple of weeks. More Scorpio energy here. And it's like they're realizing, oh, I can see a way now of doing this. And as soon as they, they get this epiphany, they come in with this um, offer that leads to a reconnection and to a new beginning here so I get the feeling you will be happy with this so however they're coming forward it's in a way that is appropriate they're kind of showing up how you need or saying the things that you've been needing to hear um, or you know giving some kind of offering here that feels to you like it's reliable okay let's see what else do I have here for Gemini as a side note, there's a message coming in, something about your money. Um, something's moving forward. I don't know if you're looking for new employment or a different kind of job, or you're looking for an increase in money, but there's something around abundance. I just have this feeling in my heart chakra. It feels really, really happy, really nice. 
really sort of almost excited so if you're waiting to hear back from a job or an interview you know you might get really good news or if you're, you're keeping your eye out for an opportunity something will come up but something about the flow of um, financial monetary abundance is looking really good over the next couple of weeks from whenever you're watching this okay what else for Gemini please what else for Gemini We have the Queen of Swords, so there you are. We have the Ten of Swords. Wow, Nine of Swords, Ten of Cups. Okay, the first thing I'm thinking is how things were left with this person. You might have said something to them that was almost like the brutal honest truth that they weren't prepared to hear, but you needed to say it and you probably feel justified in saying it. Maybe you kind of felt you were sick of them. We've got the Ten of Swords, it was an ending. It was a kind of a destructive or painful ending. And then we go to the Nine of Swords, which typically is overthinking. But do you know, the fact we go from the Ten of Swords to the Nine of Swords makes me feel like there's been a decrease in terms of how much you think about this person or how attached you feel. And you might be, it doesn't have to be a huge decrease because we, we just go down one number. For some of you it might be, but I definitely feel there's like, um, however much time has elapsed, there's there's been... A, um, a distancing, a natural process of distancing from the situation or this painful ending or, or you know, the effect of this situation or the person. Um, with the Nine of Swords, yes, you might still be thinking about them quite a bit, but still it's not as much as before. And then we go to the Ten of Cups. Wow. So do you see what I mean? It's almost like you're over here minding your business, working on maybe focusing on yourself, self-healing, taking back some of the energy from this situation, channeling it into you and, and other areas of your life. And then bam, we get this Ten of Cups because this person's coming back in in a really good way. And as I felt, you know, this is something that's going to make you happy. And I do not see that you've got to take any action here unless you want to, because this is all the energy of you minding your own business and being in your own thoughts here, being with your thoughts. You don't have to go out and initiate or seek this Ten of Cups. I feel like you might be feeling at this point that you're starting to bring order to chaos within your mind or your thinking or how this connection has left you feeling, starting to feel grounded again. Maybe starting to look back and figure out any lessons you learned, experiences you gained, you know, seeing um, new things about yourself, that sort of thing. <gasps> look, Two of Cups. Wow. Ace of Pentacles reversed. Okay, so yeah, whatever happened here, it's like you really felt, well, that's it. It seems like it's completely done. It's completely over. And with this Two of Cups under the Queen of Swords, I feel at no point have you lied to yourself and said, oh, I, I, you know, I don't feel anything for this person. But it's like you were saying, this cannot go on as it has been. I've got to, I've got to be honest. I've got to say what needs to be said, even though I have these uh, feelings here. Knight of Swords reversed. Oh my God goodness and the nine of cups wow look at this we go from the nine and ten of swords to the nine and ten of cups what a turnaround this is great gemini and this is all within you know a couple of weeks from whenever you're watching this but that's amazing so yes gemini you have someone who's returning to your life and it's going to make you very very happy um and it's not just the fact, oh, they're showing up brilliant because you have certain requirements, you know, it's this queen of swords that you need this person to meet. It's the fact that they are meeting these requirements and they're not doing it to manipulate or anything like that. It's, it's organic. It's natural. I think you still have a lot you want to say with this knight of swords reversed. So that will give you an opportunity to speak your truth. Um, but overall, I mean, what an amazing outcome. Ten of Cups, Nine of Cups. We have the Four underneath and the Five of Pentacles in reverse underneath. That is brilliant. And as I said, in addition to this um, love situation, you also have, um, you know, an in increase in abundance in terms of money. And if this, I mean, if this isn't romantic, this could definitely be a relative or a friend coming back around and making up with them. Um, although I think for most of you watching it will be a romantic situation. Okay, so I think from here, um, I'm going to pause and then get some oracle decks that I feel will be in line with this and helpful. And I think we should, <clears throat> excuse me, get some messages from your person and they might agree because my throat just closed up, but we'll see. Did I say agree or disagree? Because I meant disagree. Okay, so let's have some messages then, please, for Gemini from this person here who is showing up and re-entering Gemini's life in a really positive way. 
what would this person like for Gemini to know at this time, please? I see a little part of you in everyone I meet. So they are constantly thinking about you, constantly being reminded of you. Um, I'm sorry I couldn't do right by you. Uh, I need to go my own way for a while. So that, you know, I just, I don't think that's what's happening now. And we've seen all these cards of a completion and a new beginning. I think this is what happened. And I feel during this time they've realised that they didn't do right by you. You know, at first maybe they were even annoyed with you because if you came out as this Queen of Swords and in this um, particular deck she's holding a head in her hands, you know, they might have felt like you sort of, you really came for them and you didn't hold back and whatever you said, maybe it was quite savage, but um, they've reflected and realised even if it was difficult to hear, it was true. Oh, look, see, exactly. I'm in a much better headspace now. Yeah, exactly. Good. Okay. Look at this. I'm watching all you do and... <laughs> Hold on. Oh, I'm watching all you do and say publicly, maybe driving by you, asking folks about you or finding anything out I can, any way I can. I just don't want you going anywhere. I want to stay apprised. Wow. Okay, let's keep this out. So yes, as I said, you know, with this page of pentacles, the way he's admiring this pentacle, this is someone who definitely, you know, they have a way to look at you, to watch you. They definitely are and have been. Or just a way to find anything out about you, really. Okay, let's see. What other messages do we have for Gemini, please, from this person? I honestly think someone's doing black magic on me or something. If you know how to fix that, could you please? I just feel blocked at every turn. It's aggravating. Okay, um, and that has come out on, in, or in line with, I should say, um, the Two of Cups that came after the Eight of Swords. Remember how I was saying, it's almost like they wanted this reunion, this reconnection. That's There's no doubt, there's never been a doubt in their mind about that, but it's almost like every way they turned, every idea they came up with, they thought, no, that won't work. So it could be that they truly feel like someone's out, you know, um, to get them and, and sabotaging them in some sort of way, or it could just be that they have felt blocked, but actually they're going to have this realisation very soon that there is a way forward. And maybe it's something that was right in their face all along, the simplest um, idea or option. Yeah, look, I've had enough of this. I want you in my life now. Please just let me do this um, on my own terms and trust me, I'm coming sooner than you may think. I just can't take this pain anymore. And that will be the pain of that five of pentacles, the pain of distance, of separation. See, look, they had to go their own way for a while and now they're coming back in. Okay, I am going through somewhat of a financial crisis or restructuring right now. I might even be changing jobs or careers. As soon as I feel stable, I'll reach out and see how you are. Now, this is just a very, very, very side note, like way off in the distance side note. But just to make sure, remember that message came through about how your um, financial situation or your work or your job is improving from wherever it currently is, getting you know better or even better. Just make sure this isn't someone who finds out about this and then wants some of what you've got. I didn't see any energy like that in this spread. And you know, we've got the Two of Cups twice, which talks about equality and partnership, not stealing from another person. But you know, on top of this Five of Pentacles, if this person is struggling financially, just, um, just keep in your mind, you know, that if word has got out that you're doing very well, they're obviously not. Just, just bear that in mind. You don't want someone you know, who isn't there for you while you're putting in all the hard work and then wants to come in and have some of your rewards or, you know, that sort of thing. Um, okay, so let's get you an oracle message from Spirit. A message of guidance and advice at this time. So what's the best message for Gemini, please? I think actually we'll just get one of these. There we go. Humpback whale. Music is essential to your healing and well-being whether singing, playing an instrument or listening. Okay, so 
But also I want to extend this from, you know, singing and, and music in a traditional sense to things like um, listening to binaural beats, certain frequencies, vibrations, and you can you can do whatever you want with this. It could change your mood, you could use it um, to affect yourself on a cellular level, um, you could put something on in the background while you're sleeping, you know, whatever. There's, there are so many things on YouTube, um, but something around sound, possibly for some of you clear audience, is big as well right now. Um, also, you know, a whale is in water, emotions, intuition, something about being psychic or intuitive, you know, if you're getting psychic or intuitive hits or feelings or messages, pay attention, spirit's telling me write those down, even if it seems like a random snippet of something that doesn't make sense, just note it down, and it might be in a few days you go back and you're like, wow, that's what that means, you know? Okay, so I will leave this here, thank you so much for being here and watching Gemini, I hope this resonated, I hope it helped, and hopefully I'll see you again soon, bye!